just doing that so that it's we have a reference. I can go back to that point now. I can find that he was he was also. I can go back there and it's how many seconds ago now? It's ten seconds ago now. And I know it's stored in the machine. So if, if Michael says so what that's do you do? Do you hit return? Just hit the mark in. Yeah. Yeah. And go to the go to button will take it back to that point. The third one, but I, what I can also do is use lots of different successful. bits of and this controller. I can mark an out. I don't necessarily mean it as an out, but it just means that it's another method of storing some, something else. So I can, I've got one sentence in there. I'm listening for another one. That was his stock in trade, actually. That's about the good side of him. So right, now we're going to hit the bad side. The bad side was his treatment so I've now marked, I've overwritten the previous in with a new in. He, he had the philosophy that he paid very, very well. He's and that in will, will take me back to the beginning I, I of that sentence, which was the bad side. I came in by the picture, I was a freelance mm. director. So he treated me very well. But people who were close to him, he was very, very difficult. In fact, almost sadistic, I'd say. Because one, we had the head of the studio was a man called Earl St. John. I mean, that's a really. Was quite uh, a lovely man then when I was quite a young That's man. a really nice bit where one he sort of says he, um, he was sadistic. Uh, see John Davis. Uh, well, if I was, if I was, yeah, if I was, if I was putting together a little opening yeah, teaser sequence, I would take something like that out. Uh, so we didn't, uh, hook yeah, the audience okay, in. We'll do that. Anyway, so, shall we go back for the, yeah. the bad side? Let's go back, back for the bad so side. I just stop the machine. So I've now got an in and an out. The out is irrelevant because it's uh, it's before the in. So I can, uh, if I can remember, set out and get rid of that. So I cleared that one away. So if I now go to the mark that I've put in. And it'll wind itself back and then we'll find it more accurately on the jog button. So I can hear the sound in jog mode. So that's the bad, the bad side. So we're going to start there, but we're going to leave a little gap at the front for a five second gap. Will that yeah. be OK? Yeah, five seconds. I OK, so if I go to my recorder now and I've already got in my in time, as I said, of 10.02.00, but I'm going to um, take that time, store it down in the scratch pad, and I'm going to add five seconds to that, and then I'm going to set that back in again. So that gives me now a time for this edit of 10.02.05.00. So that's where we're going to start. It's going to be a cut edit. So I cut. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a cut when the button plays bull. It's been bullied that cut button no, a it's lot. It's not working, is it? No, it's not going to cut. It doesn't want to cut. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Well, one way to go about this, I mean, if you, uh, as I, I used to work in a company that, um, you know, I was expected to do other things. Um, sit, sitting in the sitting in the edit all the time with the editor was 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 deemed to be not a useful uh, use of my time. So you had to be. Yeah, if I was making there. a film, I had to be pretty well prepared. And um, so before I got to this stage, I would have had transcripts made of all these interviews, and I'd have gone through them and marked up the transcripts and found the bits. These little bits that we're looking for now. And I would kind of make a scheme for the editor so that actually the editor could work on the film without me being there. And I mean, in, in, this goes way, way back in the history of making films, um, feature films. I mean, uh, people like Alfred Hitchcock used to rigorously storyboard all his films so that, you know, the editor could basically get on with it. And, um, and so that's what I would have done. I would have done a. I would have done you at least half the film, so that I could have delivered you. I'd, I'd come in and I'd talk to you about it, and then I would leave you alone, and then we'd come back to it. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, uh, you have to. Editors have certain skills in some directions, and uh, it would might be a waste of the producer's time to actually be here because he's got other things to do. So if he trusts his editor, the editor will get on and do a re his idea, and we come back and talk about it. Yeah. And if it, that's not good, we remake it mm. or whatever. Now I've persuaded the machine to uh, to do a cut, oh. so I've done a vision. Go. We're going to do a vision, an audio one and an audio two, with two two usable soundtracks on the DigiBeta. So I've got my in time for the recorder. I've got my in time for the player, and there's a big button here called preview. So if I hit that preview button, hopefully the two machines will wind back and uh, present present to us at the edit time. 
So we're looking at the big monitor now for the previewed edit. The sound is faded up. The bad side. And there we go, the bad side. So that looked pretty good to me. What do you think, Michael? Yeah. So we stop the machine and then we hit the big red button, which will record that. 